Hannibal's just come over from America. Yeah. <laughs> what, what sort of things do you think we've been talking about? We've been talking about uh, the Olympics, uh, football or soccer, yeah. and uh, your, your all types of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> all types yeah. of stuff is happening. It's a busy place. Yeah, there's a lot going on. It's exciting, isn't it's it? A, it's an exciting place. Not really for me, but I could... <laughs> Can, like, if you're excited, I'm happy yeah. for you. Well, I'm just wondering. <laughs> but it might be the, the travel chaos at Heathrow. I don't see why people are complaining so much. You know, they're queuing for three hours to get into Britain. People queue for four hours to do a ride at a theme park. <laughs> this is a whole country you're getting into. <laughs> I mean, imagine what a ride that is. Within 20 minutes of Heathrow, you're in Hammersmith. <laughs> Woo! Did you have any trouble getting through the Heathrow? Yeah, it took about an hour, and that was the fast track lane, because I, I, I travel well, and, uh, <laughs> sure. and it, it took a while, and I wasn't happy about it, but I listened to some podcasts and some music, and I judged people. And you get to judge people, and the line keeps going around, so you get to judge people six times. <laughs> you find different stuff to judge about them. Like, I didn't even know I hated that about you. <laughs> you got so many layers. <laughs> I wonder whether this chaos has been caused by those new... They've got those new X-ray machines now. They're like body scanners, aren't they? They're basically... They can sort of see what you look like naked. And I wonder if that's holding things up. Should we send another one through, Bob? Give me a minute. <laughs> Good thing. You can tell you're an actor. You can really tell that. <laughs> <that's laughs> <that's laughs> Because I'd have just done a very... I mean, it wouldn't have been convincing at all, but... I felt like I was in your bedroom then. <laughs> then <you'd... laughs> I was in a queue well, at Heathrow, and I think part of the problem, part of the problem is that the, the passport, the, the immigration officials, this guy had glasses on, and he needed two pairs of glasses, so he'd get your passport, and he'd go, like that. I'll put the reading glasses on, like that. Oh. Do that. And then to look at you, he'd go, hang on a sec, and he'd take them off, <laughs> and he'd go... Oh, and a quick, like, check again, like that. And, <laughs> and he'd go, purpose of visit? Hang on a sec, like that. <laughs> <laughs> and he was there for about five minutes. Just a pair of bifocals. <laughs> I'd have sailed through. Well, that's not one of the most talked about things this week, but there's been travel chaos at Heathrow. Because of the queues, terrorists are being urged to delay the timers on their bombs by an extra three hours. <laughs> <laughs> Johnstein, what else do you think the nation will be talking about this week? Well, I guess the reason that uh, the gentleman to my right is here. I mean, you should still be on The Voice. I think we all know this. Oh, thank you. It must have been terrifying. It was terrifying. Absolutely bloody terrifying. It's Tom Jones, isn't he? I know. <laughs> He's scary. But I can't really remember anything. It's all a bit scary. And then I got kicked out, really. <laughs> <laughs> the cycle of it. It was an old man, it was a bit scary, and then yeah. you got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> you cried, though, at the end, didn't you? Yeah, I did. That makes for great television. Oh, when well, someone I know. Cries. The, the drama there. Well, I hope to recreate it this evening. Oh, yeah. See how we do. But... <laughs> I felt sorry for you when you got voted off, because for me, it wasn't your fault, because music officially died at the launch of that show when the four judges performed Beautiful Day by U2. <laughs> oh. I think what you've got to remember, Sam, fame is a bit like a snowman. <laughs> and by, by coming on this show, it means your carrot's dropped off. <laughs> and it started to rain. <laughs> One of your arms has just slipped down. <laughs> you've still got the scarf and the little bits of coal in your eyes. So... Oh, Sam, you are not the voice. That's okay, you are the moves, you are the quiff, you are the fashion, you can come on the ass. That's a show I'm developing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a new show I'm developing, The Ass. The Ass. Um, and the judges are Kim Kardashian and J-Lo and Nicki Minaj and uh, Beyonce, and they just, they, they look at an ass, and then based on that ass, <laughs> they decide whether they want to hear your talent. <laughs> <laughs> And if you don't have one, you're on Kim Kardashian's team. <laughs> well, you can come on the ass. Don't worry, I'll write you in. It's perfect. <laughs> Might be time for another one of your mimes. <laughs> <laughs> you're better off out of it, because I think since they've got rid of the turning chairs, the show's kind of... it's crap, really. <laughs> it's pointless without the spinning chairs, isn't it? It was good with the spinning chairs. Yeah. They should go up and down, whether they like you or not. Like, if Tom likes you, he goes, <laughs> well, I think you're bloody great, you are. Like that, and he goes... <laughs> yeah, but I think if, <laughs> if Tom's <laughs> chair goes up, he's going to think he's going to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, should we have a look and see whether the voice is one of the most talked about things this week? Yes, indeed.
The voice aims to take total nobodies and make them household names, like Danny from the script. <laughs> if, if you're honest, did you know who Danny was? Yes, I did. What's your favourite script song? There's so many to choose from. What's your favourite script oh, song? it's so hard, isn't it, to choose your favourite script song? I mean... <laughs> oh, there's that one. Jork, jork, show us your cock and I'll give you the <laughs> food. <laughs> or there's... I'll be up your flu in a minute or two and you just want to paint it the hole in the front. <laughs> that one. Are they even Scottish? <laughs> Oh, God, there's so mad, bloody many of them. Just anthems, really. You just chart your whole life growing up to a script. Which song. other ones? I mean, those are two good ones. Which oh, other? This, oh, um, oh, this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be up your pipe on a Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> and you're doing a sentential. Oh, all those bloody oh. classics. Script. <laughs> Not even Sky. She doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> oh, Roy Hodgson has become the England manager. Oh. Yeah. Huge news. I think he's a terrible choice. I mean, you look at him. Since he's been manager, we haven't won a single game. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think of Roy Hodgson, Stephen? Uh, I think we've got to give him a chance. I mean, it's typical in this country, isn't it? The, the, you know, he's, uh, he speaks five languages fluently. He's won eight major trophies. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, representing this country. And the son, because he can't say his R's properly, the headline is, Bwing on the Euros. <laughs> We'll see you in Ukraine against France. <laughs> I hope the dick that wrote that gets wed war hemorrhoids. <laughs> the reason I don't like him yeah. is, if you notice, he hasn't got any shoulders. <laughs> he looks like an owl. <laughs> <laughs> he his shoulders is there, he just goes down like that. <laughs> and he's not going to sit in the technical er area at the side of the pitch, he's going to be in a nest on the stadium. <laughs> Watching the game like that. <laughs> and every now and again, swoop down and get a mouse. Your problem with him is he's an owl. He does. <laughs> got a picture of him. Goes, there he is, look. <laughs> he does, and he goes like this. When he talks, he goes like this. <laughs> and occasionally, he just goes... <laughs> We've got an owl as a manager. <laughs> John, what, what do you make of this guy? I'd rather him than Harry Redknapp, to be honest. What? I really like the image. He said, oh, Harry was just sat waiting by his phone. I, I, that made me laugh. I tell you, he wasn't. I bet his phone was ringing, cos if I was Harry Redknapp's mate, I would've just been doing withheld number calls all day. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Harry, it's the FA here. Sweet FA, see you later, Tossa. 